to the coronavirus. I've got to find astronaut Stephanie Wilson right away. Astronaut Wilson, I have fantastic news. I found a cure to the coronavirus. Dr. Jemison, that is wonderful news. Can we beam results back to Earth? No, we'll have to physically take it there. Time is of the essence. Really? How time critical are we talking? We have about 200 hours to get it back to Earth before the cure starts to chemically deteriorate and break down. As an engineer, is there anything I can fabricate in the 3D printer? Maybe a cryogenic cooler to slow down the chemical process? That will keep it stable, but not by us any additional time. Well, I better call Commander Frederick Gregory in from his spacewalk. He is outside inspecting Artemis. Commander Frederick Gregory calling from the Gateway Base. Come in, Commander Gregory. Astronaut Wilson, copy. What do you need? Dr. Jemison has been successful in chemically isolating the coronavirus and finding a cure. Commander Gregory, Dr. Jemison here. There's a catch. We have less than 8.5 days to get it back to Earth. I'm on my way back in from checking on Artemis. Gateway is twice the distance from the Earth's moon to the Earth's surface. Do you realize that it's 500,000 miles away? Yes, sir, I do. Well, I better start preparing for takeoff immediately. Please contact NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. They can contact the best minds in the world by using TGIS satellite system. This is astronaut Wilson calling from the gateway to NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. NASA Goddard Science and Planetary Operations Center here. Astronaut Wilson, come back. Can you connect me to Center Director Dr. Abel Erickson? Astronaut Wilson, I'm here in the Operations Center. I was expecting your call. Dr. Jemison has some good news and some not so good news. I have been successful in chemically isolating the coronavirus and finding a cure. However, it has a, life, it has a short lifetime of eight and a half days, or which is 204 hours. Astronaut Wilson can give you enge the engineering details about the flight. We are 500,000 miles away, and we need four hours to get ready for the takeoff. That leaves 200 hours for flight. We ran the numbers on the computer, but we want to make sure they are correct. I'll get our best mathematician, Katherine Goble Johnson, on the communicator right away. She'll be able to solve the orbital navigation problem quickly. John Glenn had her check behind his IBM computer calculations for his Apollo mission. She will be perfect. Hello. Johnson. How may I help you? Hello, I'm on the gateway with Dr. Mae Jemison, Commander Frederick Gregory, and I am Stephanie Wilson. We found a way to cure the coronavirus. Wow, that's wonderful news. Yes, truly. However, we have limited time to get back to Earth. Could you help confirm our calculations? Yes, I understand, and I would be glad to help you guys with the math. Do you have any supporting variables I can use to solve the equation? Of course. We must travel 500,000 miles in 200 hours. We need to find the speed in miles per hour. Thank you. I'll set up this problem and get back with you right away. Thank you. Dr. Jiminson said that the cure lasts 8.5 days, which equals 204 hours. It takes four hours to prep for takeoff, so they have a travel time of 200 hours, or 2.0 times 10 raised to the second hours. They have to travel a distance of 500,000 miles, which converts to 5.0 times 10 raised to the fifth miles. The formula for distance is velocity times time equals distance. If we divide the two sides by time, we can solve our velocity as change in distance over change in time. Let's plug in our values and solve. 500,000 divided by 200 equals 2,500 miles per hour, or is equivalent to 2.5 times 10 raised to the third miles per hour. We found our solution! Artemis is ready for takeoff. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off!